Good morning. Have you noticed how children go through a phase in their lives when they're constantly asking the question why? If at the dinner table you tell them, come on, eat your food, then it's why? Well, because if you don't eat, you won't grow. Yeah, but why, Daddy? Why? 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 And as we're looking at this subject of discipleship this week, it's that question, why, I have for you this morning. And it's why discipleship? Well, let me give you a couple of reasons why discipleship. Well, first of all, discipleship is important because Jesus taught its importance. Jesus showed how important discipleship was by making the training of his 12 disciples a priority during his three and a half years of public ministry. So discipleship is important because Jesus taught its importance. Secondly, can I suggest discipleship is important because Jesus taught his followers to make disciples. Listen to Matthew's Gospel 28 and verse 19. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. You see, Jesus trained disciples and then he taught those disciples to go and reproduce. In other words, go and make disciples of men and women. It was the late Dr. Bob Gordon who said winning converts adds to the number of born again believers. But discipleship makes disciples who are mature reproducers who will in turn multiply the number of born again believers and disciples. So why discipleship? Because Jesus taught his followers to make disciples. Then thirdly, can I suggest discipleship is important because discipleship is the best method of reaching the world for God. Jesus chose the method of discipleship because he knew how effective it was. Now, according to plain mathematics, if one disciple just led another person to Christ, devoted the whole year in training that individual in discipleship, and the following year, both disciple and discipler made one new believer each and devoted a year again to train them, and then and the four the following year would do exactly the same. According to plain mathematics, in just over 32 years, the whole population of the world will become Christian. Now, we know that's not going to happen, but that's how effective, according to mathematics, discipleship can be. And then, finally, can I suggest discipleship is important because in the end, discipleship produces mature Christians. And the aim of discipleship, you see, is Christian maturity. And we know Christian maturity doesn't come with age automatically. Maturity comes as we grow in grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ. And the end aim of maturity is Christ-likeness. You see, the word disciple in the Greek is the word mathetes, and it means one who learns instruction from another. It was a word that was used for an apprentice to a tradesman. And these apprentices were also spoken of as imitators of their masters. So disciples were those who imitated their masters. And I don't know about you, but I want my life to reflect something of Jesus Christ. I want others, as they look at me, observe the way I live and behave. I want them to see something of Jesus as I grow in grace, becoming more like him. And so that's the end aim of discipleship. And I don't know about you, I want to be a true disciple of Jesus Christ so that others might come to know him through the way I live. Let's pray together this morning and ask God to help us in our discipleship. Father, we just thank you that you have called us to be your children. Thank you that you have blessed us with discipleship. And I just pray this morning that this week you would help us to grow in Jesus and reflect something of his beauty. And may our lives touch someone this week, I pray in Jesus' sweet name. Amen. Let me read to you this morning a few verses from the end of the Gospel of St. Mark, verses 14 to the end. Later, as they were eating, Jesus appeared to the eleven and rebuked them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they did not believe those who had heard that he had been risen. 
And he said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. And whoever does not believe will be condemned. All the, and these signs shall accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they will pick up snakes with their hands, and if they drink any deadly poison, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will be made well. After the Lord Jesus had spoken to them, he was taken up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went out and preached everywhere. And the Lord worked through them, confirming his word with signs that accompany it. And may God help us to be such disciples that as we share Jesus, the Lord will confirm our testimony and through us bring men and women to salvation. May God richly bless you.